try and it kept ripping across. Oh my. Well, we just got done grilling out in the backyard, and we're just sitting here on the screen porch. Uh, we're gonna have some frozen cocktails that we got from the grocery store. Show you guys these. If you haven't tried them, they're pretty good. They're ready-made. It's uh, only a dollar and how much? Sixty-eight cents or yeah. ninety-eight? Cents. I think they're almost two dollars each. Mm -hmm. uh, just stick them in the freezer, and when you're ready to drink them, just take them out and uh, tear them open. They're pretty good. We've had, uh, this one is wild berry and I've also had the margarita which is pretty good and the watermelon which you have. But they're pretty good. So we thought while we were sitting out here we were just going to kind of sit out here and talk a little bit about uh, the videos we put out in July. Kind of do a look back at the month of July for our channel. Uh, one of the main things I wanted to mention was the fact that we reached 3,000 subscribers this month so we're pretty excited about that and appreciate everybody subscribing and watching the videos and all that so that was pretty exciting time right mm -hmm. getting to 3,000 subscribers yeah so I'm gonna look back at some of the videos and I think the first video we did in July was the uh, Manuel Perez Park uh, the, mm -hmm. the uh, video about the American soldier killed in Philippines and that was a that was a guy that goes by the name of Manuel Perez uh, Manuel Perez no I'm talking about the guy that told uh, me about the, uh, the park uh, a guy named Norman and I'm trying to remember his username on YouTube uh, no one no one special or something like that I can't remember now Norman <laughs> but anyway, um, he's the one who told us about that park, so we went there and did the video about Manuel Perez and kind of told his story and showed the park. I was really surprised how nice the park was. Mm -hmm. It was really nice. I got a chance to film Chanel there for yeah. my uh, client video. The playground is really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cecile did a dog product video there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was really surprised. They put a lot of effort into that park. It's nice, nice park. Um, I was impressed. So we'll probably go back there, I'm sure, at some point and mm -hmm. hang out again. Um, we also did a uh, one year anniversary video mm -hmm. living in the US and living in Philippines and everything in between. That was uh, July 5th. Uh, that was our one year anniversary for our channel so we officially hit the one year mark so we did a video just kind of showing a bunch of highlights and some funny moments um, we also did a 4th of July video that was pretty nice yeah went to the 4th of July enjoyed. parade Liam why do you like that parade so much they're giving candy they're giving away candy yeah you like candy yeah, that's a big thing at that parade. They throw candy out to all the kids. Uh, Liam was kind of disappointed last year when they canceled it. Mm -hmm. But it was back on this year. We went to that and he had a good time. and uh, We got to film all of that, so that was pretty nice. Uh, we also did a video about um, online relationships and <coughs> Christian Filipino. They contacted us about doing a collaboration. Uh, collaboration video with them, and um, I'm not sure exactly how that works. Becoming uh, part of their affiliate program or something, where if someone watches our video and signs up, you get some kind of payment from them or something. But I'm not sure exactly how that works. But um, that video we made at Will Rogers Park in Oklahoma City which is probably our favorite park to go to. Pretty nice park. What do you like about Will Rogers? Flowers. Yeah, lots of flowers. Lots of different kinds. And just a, it's a really big park too. Mm -hmm. It's 
pretty nice. Has a duck pond there, large, large pond. And a lot of people go to that park, but you can go there and find a spot kind of to yourself a little bit if you want to. Mm -hmm. It's a really big park. Yeah, that is the, what, the wedding? Yeah, they have a lot of weddings there. Yeah. And also like for photography. Every time we go um, there, we usually see a professional photographer with their lights and all their stuff set up. Yeah. Or um, you'll see someone with a whole bunch of camera equipment, camera gear, taking pictures of like a high school graduate or family wedding, picture. family portrait. We saw a big crowd there one day doing a family mm -hmm. photo. But just really nice place, nice place for photos. What was your favorite video of this one, do you think? Mm, the, no. Maybe I will tell you what mine is while you're looking at the videos. I think my favorite was the New Philippines video. Because that was something that I just never had heard of before and I was really kind of surprised to hear the story. Um, Jamie, one of our subscribers, is the one who told me about that. and. I was really interested in that. I thought that was pretty, pretty neat. Then I kind of was able to joke around a little bit on the video with that, and that was probably my favorite video that we did this month. Yeah. Oh. Yours is probably the Burger King one, right? No, my favorite is when we went to Manuel Perez. Manuel Perez, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice park, and at the same time, it's a historical place, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also kind of uh, happy to hear that someone fought for World War. You're happy to kind of hear the story? Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And then the memorial part of the park is really nice yeah. also, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really nice. Yeah, really nice. Nice park. Um, we also did a video about... Um, Talk. Well, we did a couple of videos kind of talking about more than likely the time will pass for us to be able to go to Philippines this yeah. year as far as planning and doing everything we need to do in advance. It's getting to the point sad. where we're running out of time. Yeah. I'm telling you that I miss Philippines, yeah. but I hate to go there right now. So I'm, I, will, I am willing to wait. Sometimes we watch our own videos. Yeah, and then I'm one of our biggest fans. So no. sometimes I go back and watch the old videos. No, Scott is watching the house. the house video, and I said, "Man, I miss our house in Philippines because it's comfortable there." Yeah, and then and when then you're watching we're, the videos, you really miss it. Yeah, and also we got to chance to bond with my family. And then the other video we did kind of related to that was talking about trying to bring Cecile's mom here yeah. for a visit because she's never been, um, got a lot of um, information in the comments about that. Mm -hmm. uh, bugs what are really that? loud tonight. Nice. Nice. Um, kind of talking about the difficulty of trying to get a visa right now with the uh, embassy canceling appointments all the time mm -hmm. and everybody's having all kinds of problems. So don't know if it's it's probably not even something we could accomplish this year but maybe early next year but we're gonna try I mean as soon as we can get yeah. it done we're gonna try so her appointment is this August so hopefully, for passport yeah for passport so hopefully she yeah. can get that <clears throat> the problem is going to be step. going to Manila <laughs> yeah Manila is yeah. gonna be the hard part yeah. then we also had a video where we kind of got into a fight Things got a little bit violent in the <laughs> antique store. I like that antique store. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's my favorite. I don't know why I like antique. We were walking around the antique store and I just saw that little sign and said, POW! Kind of like the old <laughs> cartoon <laughs> graphic. So asked I asked Liam first, right? <laughs> I said, well, hit me. Pretend you hit me. No. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't get Liam to do it. But Cecile is ready. She is excited. <laughs> so she pretended that she hit me and I held the sign up and said, pow, really big. So. 
We tricked you. Gave you. me the idea. Gave me the idea for the thumbnail. It's <laughs> got tricky. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, we also did a video about the uh, U.S. Embassy canceling appointments in Manila, which mm -hmm. has been going on, I guess, for a while. Um, I didn't know of all the different cancellations they've been doing. I just happened to come across an article talking about canceling tourists and business visas and just kind of put that information out there and kind of found out some people commenting that that's been going on for a while but um, I guess different visas are being canceled, uh, visa appointments at different times. And right now it's tourist and uh, business visas and we got a good response from that video. We got a lot of views and a lot of new subscribers from that video. Mm -hmm. So that was a good video for us. Um, we also, another video we did that got a lot of comments and people talking about... Participate. Yeah, a lot of participation and feedback. Yeah. Uh, we did a video talking about our house here. When we retire in Philippines, um, we're not really sure what we're going to do with this house yet. We've got several years to go before retirement. So there's no rush to make a decision, but I kind of wanted to uh, hear other people's yeah. stories, what they've done, yeah. kind of what their it's experience very, has yeah, been. Yeah, it's very to have an Yeah. It's nice to hear people's experience. Yeah, we can learn so from can your learn, mistakes, yeah. maybe. We can learn. Or you can learn from ours. Yeah. So that was a good video. We got a lot of response from that, and heard a lot of, a lot of uh, ideas. Um, there were some really good ideas. People talked about things that I haven't hadn't even really thought of. Some people brought up Airbnb, which I didn't even really consider. Uh, they talked about, you know, if you did sell your home, as long as you have family here in the U.S., so which you one could you always come back and stay with family. Well, based on what you. I'm leaning toward I'm leaning towards sell the house because then you just get rid of the responsibility and any problems that can come with it. But I keep thinking that if it's possible to keep the house, I want to find a way to keep the house because yeah, I want it to rent. If you rent it, you know it can be a headache. But some, somebody mentioned. Um, your income is always increasing because rent is always going to be going up. Yeah. So as we're getting older and we're in retirement and, and fixed income, if you have a rental property in the United States, mm -hmm. uh, that's big money in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So that money could go a long way. And it's always every year rent is increasing. Right now uh, in Oklahoma City, a house the size of ours um, would be I think about probably fifteen hundred a month, twelve oh. to fifteen hundred a month. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a house that we rented before we bought this house that was I want to say twelve hundred square feet, kind of a small house but normal size, and we were paying a uh, thousand a month. Mm -hmm. And when we moved out, they were raising the rent to twelve hundred. Yeah. So we bought this house and it's 1,800 square feet, almost 1,900, and we have twice as big of a backyard as we had at that house. So I would guess right now probably somewhere between 12 and 1,500 a month. Mm -hmm. So you could see that being $2,000 not that many years from now. So it's a possibility and that's something we're kind of considering also. But I really haven't made a decision. I think we just have to wait and see kind of what our situation is at that time mm -hmm. and uh, go from there. Uh, we just did a video the other day about wanting to buy a second property in the Philippines and got pretty good response from that also. You're kind of more of a farm girl. Yeah, I like to have farm. So when you get tired of staying in the city you can go to the farm or in the mountain yeah. and then <clears throat> stay there for a couple of days just out of the city and then you know you just can you can relax get away from like the tricycle farm. noise it's kind of like a rest house 
have. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have a swimming pool, but you said it's too much uh, responsibility. Or too well, much I don't know. Swimming pools in Philippines may get a little bit different on the maintenance and all that, mm -hmm. but in the U.S. it can be they can be kind of a headache, but. Uh, especially if you're not living at the property all the time, but I know we have some friends in the Philippines that own a resort yeah. and they just empty their pool when they're not using it. It's a yeah. concrete pool and then when they get there, they want to use it, they fill it up. Mm -hmm. so I don't know how much that costs, but maybe that's the best way to do it. Maybe growing up and living so many years in Oklahoma kind of makes me attracted to the ocean a little bit because mm -hmm. I haven't yeah. really experienced that much. So whenever I'm at the ocean or spending time at the beach, um, to me that feels pretty special. Yeah. I don't really enjoy it, but <clears throat> I wouldn't want to be there year round or too often. Yeah. Because I think be it would lose its appeal. Higher, yeah. Like after a while. Yeah. Because I know people who uh, like live near the lakes and stuff that don't hardly go to the lake because They've been too many times, or there. Mm -hmm. But there's some people that live near a lake that are always at the lake. So it just depends on you. But mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I, I do like the mountain areas that we've been to. So I would probably be okay either way. Like somebody said, as long as Cecile's happy, I will be yeah. happy. <laughs> and then another person. One of the favorite comments that I saw. It said. Um, uh, beach equals retirement, equals farm work. equals work, or something like that. Farm equals work, and beach, beach equals retirement, relaxation. <clears throat> Which I kind of agree with that. I don't, I don't want to get into something where I'm working all the time. Maybe you got me building, plowing fields and building planting. barns and stuff all the time. I'm not going to do that. I want planting, to relax. Planting vegetables. I kind of want to do what we're doing right now. I just sit there. Relaxing and drinking a cocktail. Um, let's see, what other videos did we have? That's some really good ones coming out. <laughs> Maybe I'm biased. Um, we did an update on the 9A visa. We did an update on that where uh, they're accepting 9A visas again and then they removed the there was an extra step you had to go through. I can't remember now what it was called, but it was a exemption letter or something that you had to get for your 9A visa. Uh, they're not requiring that anymore. Uh, and uh, let's see. Hmm. It's all flood. That's all. Yeah, today we did a video about the flood there in Bologna, which. Uh, Turned out it wasn't really bad for us, but the city itself is having all kinds of problems from the flood. Mm -hmm. The uh, for sure the plaza area, the, the city hall. Yeah, probably flooded. Flood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. City hall is right there at the plaza, and the plaza had quite a bit of water there. St. Joseph's Church. I don't know if they have damage inside, but had a lot of water out in front yeah. of the church from the picture that I saw. And um, we have a video coming out probably in a couple of days or so about a day trip that we just took. Mm. You want to tell them where you went? Day tour. Mm -hmm. Day tour. They will listen to this. Oh yeah, I better not tell them too much. So just uh, an outdoor adventure, I guess I would say. Yeah, I enjoy that. Yeah, you had fun. <laughs> Liam had fun. And I had, we had fun going out sometimes. And man, we made a really good video too. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be putting that out probably, I don't know, sometime next week, first part of next week. Mm -hmm. So that's about it. Uh, that's all of our you said, video highlights. I told you to, I, I asked you if you're ready to have a, a live stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said I will. I will have to do that for mom. So I guess uh, we're still next Saturday. Maybe will be our first live stream. You want to try that next Saturday? <laughs> so if uh, two or three of you wants to join us for that, <laughs> you guys can get on there and comment and uh, 
I can really, you know, I can ramble on for hours. So if there's really only like two or three people, it's okay. I'll just keep talking and <laughs> you just have to listen to I'll me until you sign off. I will leave it to you. But it'll be nice because people will be able to ask you questions also. Mm -hmm. Because I get people commenting sometimes about where Cecile or you need to have Cecile on more. You need to let Cecile <laughs> talk more. You talk you know too that, much. Or, you know can because um, it'll be it, the live stream's not it's pretty laid back you're just typing questions and you'll respond to them or if somebody puts something on there you don't want to respond to I'm or not, you don't like yeah. then you just pass by that one I'm not like others other persons that uh, they're pretty comfortable talking to the camera yeah, I mean, even though that I'm you're not. talking to the camera only but I am not like so we can give you fair warning that um, the live stream may go well and it may not. Mm -hmm. It might be a total disaster, so we will apologize in advance for that because uh, we don't have any experience with it. Mm -hmm. So we'll give it a try and hopefully we can maybe do that every Saturday or something. And uh, yeah, we're not, uh, we're not experienced. Neither one of us went to college for media or broadcasting or anything like that. Um, I'm not really extremely knowledgeable about immigration. I put out videos and give uh, share articles related to immigration, and then I get a lot of questions from those videos. But uh, you know, I, I don't I don't want to give bad information. So a lot of times I'll direct people to the embassy or something like that. But uh, yeah, as far as talking on camera, uh, neither one of us is like a, a natural, I guess, for the camera, but we try to force ourselves to be more try outgoing. To force me. Because we're not, <laughs> neither one of us has a big personality. We're both kind of quiet, laid back people, and sometimes on YouTube it doesn't come across too well. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, some people will tell me I'm too boring, I talk too slow, I talk too much, or I repeat too much, or, uh, you know, stuff like that, but uh, it's kind of hard. It's harder to make videos than what you might think, mm -hmm. right? So we try. So if you guys are interested in a live stream, I'll uh, be looking comment. for that next Saturday, right? So if, if you are interested to to make us do a live stream, just leave a comment. Let us know if that sounds like a good idea. So just say, oh, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. say, I'm in. Yeah. So because I don't know. want it to just be me, Cecile, and real old geekster. <laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> Shout out to old Geekster. So, uh, yeah, next Saturday we'll give it a shot. Probably be around 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock, something like that. But we'll post it in advance. And uh, hopefully some of you can get on there with us. And uh, check out some of the videos we mentioned if you haven't seen them yet. And maybe we'll do this each month. At the end of the month we can talk about some of the videos we did and some of the ones we liked and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Ready to wrap it up? Okay. So I'm thanks. <laughs> yeah, the lights are getting it's getting dark in here. Yeah. Uh, okay, so thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. See you on the next video.